Hey guys, this is Alan Quay with Review Dingo, and I want to show you how to upload a spreadsheet into the system. And uh, it's a pretty easy process. You just go over here to where the second symbol is, where it says upload. You want to click that. It's going to open up this box right here. And um, I'm going to show you a little bit how to uh, format a spreadsheet. And then I've got another video that will show you how to add um, how to add the number in. Like if you have if you're out of the United States. You want to be able to, you know, to have that number in there and also how to, um, you know, a tool that you can use to help format your spreadsheet. But uh, in this video, I'm just going to go over how the spreadsheet needs to be set up. As you see here, we have uh, these different columns. There's uh, column A through K. Now, each of these columns need the specific information underneath them. So, in other words, uh, the first name of the employee needs to go under column J. Now you can keep any of these empty if you want, if you don't want the information there. Uh, there's certain information you do need, like the first name or the email address and or phone number, or, you know, cell phone. But, um, uh, you know, if you don't want to put the address, you don't need to put that. But just keep in mind that everything has to be listed under each column. So uh, if, uh, if you want to leave out the zip code, then the, just leave this column blank. Um, now, the, the uh, column H is a country code. And with a country code, you need the two letter ISO code. Uh, for instance, uh, for the United States, uh, it is capital U, capital S. And so that's what you would put here. Um, and for Australia, for instance, would be capital A, capital U. And you, you would uh, just enter that in under the, you know, uh, under the column H. So everything, uh, if you don't have that correct and you just like write out uh, United States or you write out Australia or the United Kingdom, then what's going to happen is it won't enter it in the system. So you have to have that, uh, that code if you're putting the address in for the country. So another thing to keep in mind is when you're, um, when you're up, you know, when you're adding the uh, name columns, you want to make sure that they're not too long. Like some people will put in a lot of uh, like maybe the company name here under the first name. And that's going to be like a really, if it's a really long name with proprietary limited and all of this, it can, it may not accept it. You want to keep it under 25 characters in length uh, to ensure that you're going to be able to upload it properly. Um, another thing to keep in mind that the system does not like um, symbols in these name columns. So you want to be able to uh, not have symbols in there. Uh, again, in another video I'm going to show you, there is a, 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 a tool that we use to help format the spreadsheets and I'll go over that with you in uh, in a future video. So um, yes, it don't have any symbols in the names and you'll be fine. And uh, that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go back in here. Once you have your spreadsheet ready to go, you want to go ahead and uh, leave it on immediate. So unless you have a lot of uh, names, like you have over a thousand names to be uploaded, and uh, you never want to do more than 500 per day, you know, per time of uploading or per day. But if you have like a really big one um, and say you have like over a thousand uh, that you're trying to put through, then you want to go ahead and spread that out. So if, uh, you just want to click on like the 10 days. And so when you upload that file, let's say a thousand, it will divide it into 10 and every day it will send out 100. Now, keep in mind during that time, during those 10 days. You can um, add in more, but it will add it on top of the 100 that you're going to be adding in. We don't suggest going back too far. Uh, within 30 days is okay, but anything past that, you're going to have a diminishing return. Uh, and then also, to the best time is like within one to three days. That's what we find is our, our sweet spot to get the most amount of reviews. If you can do it every day, that's great. Every, uh, every other day, you know, twice a week is, is uh, second best. Um, but, um, but definitely once a week, you, you should do it. If you're doing it any longer than that, you're not going to get the results that you need. So anyways, go ahead and set it for immediate. You want to go ahead and click these two boxes. You're going to click upload file. When you do that, it will browse your computer for a file. You're going to find the file you want to upload, click it, and then it will immediately uh, put it into the system and start sending out those SMSs and uh, email requests that, uh, that you have. Uh, it in that spreadsheet. So anyway, hopefully that helps. Um, and if you have any questions, please let me know and we'll talk to you later.